Hi there. Now, in this question, we're given this diagram and it shows two circles of radius 7 centimetres with centres at A and B. The distance AB is 12 centimetres and the point C lies on both circles. And the region common to both circles is shaded. And what we've got to do first of all is show that angle CAB is 0.411 radians, correct for significant figures. And then go on to find the perimeter of the shaded region and then find the area of the shaded region. So if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. And when you come back, I'll run through the work solutions. OK, welcome back then. Let's see how you got on if you had a go. Well, for part one, we've got to show that angle CAB then is 0 0.5411 radians, correct to four significant figures. Well, angle CAB is this one in here. Let's just uh, look at this triangle then. What I notice is that if we can bring a vertical line down through there, we know that AB is 12 centimetres, we're giving it up here. So by bringing a line down here, being an isosceles triangle, this is going to cut this in half. So this will be 6 centimetres across here. Let's just mark that in as 6 centimetres. And if I look at this triangle in here, okay, that is AC and then just down to here, We've got a right angle triangle. I've got two sides, my right angle triangle, the adjacent side and the hypotenuse. So that's going to be the cosine ratio. So I'm just going to say, therefore, we've got the cosine of the angle CAB. Well, that compares the adjacent side, that's 6, with the hypotenuse, 6 divided by 7. And so therefore, to get angle CAB, all I've got to do, okay, let's just put a circumflex there over the top, to get the angle CAB, it's going to equal the inverse cos then of 6 sevenths. Don't forget to put your calculator in radians mode, and if you do that, you should find you get 0 0.541109 and so on. And giving this to four significant figures is going to give us 0 0.5411 radians, okay, to four significant figures, 4SF. Okay? Right, well, in part two, it says find the perimeter of the shaded region. So we're looking to find the distance then all the way around here. Well, I can see that we could find just say one arc length that's this one say round here and all I need to do is just double that to get the total perimeter then of the shaded region. Now to get the arc length if I look at a sector I'm going to look at this sector A to C and then from A down to here okay Let's just give that a letter, let's call it D, okay? So we've got the sector ACD. Now to find out the arc length of a sector, then all you've got to do is just use the fact that that arc length is a fraction of the circle. So we'll start with the perimeter, let's part, make this part two as well. Okay, we've got the perimeter equals, now I'm going to do two of these arc lengths, so we'll have two, okay, and then we'll just have a square bracket here, and as for the arc length, it's a fraction then of the circumference of the complete circle. So we take this angle in here and compare that to all of the term. So that angle in there is going to be twice this angle here, 2 times 0 0.541109 and so on. And I compare that, okay, to 2 pi radians. So that's the fraction 
of the circumference that this arc length takes up and then it would be of that circumference which is 2 pi r 2 pi times the radius which is 7. Now you might think that's very complicated the way I've done that but I did that on purpose because these pi's or 2 pi's cancel one another out and when you're working radians you get the familiar answer that it's the angle times the radius theta r okay but I just thought I'd just show you that it's a fraction of the circumference okay so you've just got to work this out now and uh, what do you get well if you put it through your calculator you don't have to be in radians mode you only be, need to be in radians mode if you're doing sine cos or tan functions so you will get 15.150 and so on if you do that. And if we round this to say three significant figures, that's going to be 15.2 centimeters, okay, to three significant figures, 3SF for short. Okay, so I hope that's given you some idea on that part anyway, if it was causing any problems. Right, so now we go on to the last part, part three, find the area of the shaded region. Well, if we're going to find the area of the shaded region, all I'm going to do here is to continue, say, this line down through here, okay, and going to work out the area of just half of this shaded region, this half here, called a segment, okay. And we should be familiar with working out areas of segments. We work out the area of the sector, and then we take away the area of the triangle. So when I've got the area of the segment, all I need to do is double it to get the area of the shaded region. So starting off then with the area of the sector, okay, area of sector, just mention that here. And that sector then is ACD. Okay, ACD. So that's going to be a fraction of the area of the complete circle. That fraction is going to be the angle over 2 pi times or of pi r squared. So that's going to be twice the angle, 2 times 0 0.541109 and so on. Okay, compare that to the angle round here of a complete turn, that would be 2 pi radians. And then this is the fraction of the area of the complete circle, which is pi r squared. Pi times the radius squared, that's 7 squared. Okay? And these pi's cancel out. And what we get is the angle times the radius squared over 2. Theta r squared over 2, or half theta r squared, which is, should be a familiar formula for when you're working out areas of sectors when you're working in radians, okay? Right, well, if you work this out on your calculator, you should find you get 26.5138 and so on, and that will be measured in centimetre squares. Next, we're going to look at the area of the triangle, ACD. So, work that out, area of triangle ACD. And for this one, what I'm going to do is use the formula half AB sine C. In other words, we do half the product of the two sides that surround the angle. Here's our angle. So the two sides that surround it are AC and AD, and they're both 7. So that's half of 7 times 7, or 7 squared. And then you do the sine of the included angle in here. And that angle, we've seen, is going to be 2 times the one that we worked out here, 0 0.541109, and so on. OK? Now, because we're using a trigonometric function here and working radians, you must have your calculator in radians mode. And if you do that calculation, you should find you get 21.6333 and so on. And that'll be measured in centimetre squares. So now we've got our sector, this area, and the area of the triangle. By taking 
this answer away from this one, it would give us the shaded green area, the area of the segment. But I'm going to double that to get the area of the shaded region. So I'm in a position to do that now. So I'm going to say, therefore, the shaded area okay, is equal to twice the result of this taken away from this area. So we've got 26.5138 and so on, minus 21. 0.6333 and so on. And if you work that one out, you end up with 9.7611 and so on. And rounding this to three significant figures gives us 9.76 centimeter squares to 3SF, three significant figures. Okay, 